Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and this is Pokemon Sun. Apparently I have a message. Hang on, I'll just give me a sec. Hey there, good afternoon. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be not the region that that could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah? There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola, either. Such mysterious creatures. You find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, and the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps, too. Some of us even battle with them, if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, can you wait till I'm done talking to play? Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So, which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Hmm. None of them really look like me. But we're gonna go with this guy. You okay with the one you chose, yeah? Alright then, I'll let you spell out your name for me. In case you weren't aware, while I'm spelling out my name, I will be doing a Nuzlocke challenge, and in case you don't know what that is, it has three very simple rules. The first rule is, you can only collect the first Pokemon you see on every route. If you fail to catch them, you don't get a Pokemon for that route. Where's my done button? Here we go. The second rule is, if a Pokemon faints, they will die. So you have to release them immediately. And the third rule is, you must nickname all your Pokemon to greater um, add to the experience of bonding with your Pokemon. 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way. Music Kev. Aw. Yeah, that sounds like it. That, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo! Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Music Kev, come help Music Kev, come help me with these boxes. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Battle Square maybe? Can't wait to find out though. I'll be playing with one additional rule. It oh. Oh, it's a teleporter. Or an elevator. I have no idea what's going on right now. Oh, it's a little thing in there. This is interesting. I was not expecting this much story like Owl of the Blue. Okay, they're in like some kind of laboratory, I guess? Anyway, the other role is that I'm going to be using set battle style, which means I don't switch my Pokemon in between the rival's Pokemon. Um, I'll be using... Uh, another rule that's called the duplicates clause, which means I can't catch two of the same Pokemon. If the first Pokemon I see on a route is the same Pokemon, then I get one more chance to get a different one. Huh. And then the last rule is the items clause. Unless my opponent uses an item in battle, I will not be allowed to. I didn't even see a title screen. That's interesting. This is a big island. And there's four of them. It's making me think that there's going to be a butt ton of content in this. Um, these Pokemon episodes will run a little bit long. Just because there's a lot to do in them. As opposed to my Legend of Zelda episodes. There's a puppy. Huh. I've not played a new generation Pokemon in a while, so this is all new to me. Ah, oh, can't you just feel that warmth? The first day spent under a Lola sun. It's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meow, go get music kev for me, would you? Meow. 
that's a regular Meowth. So, I obviously moved here from the Alo uh, to the Alola re region. Um, I say it's a regular Ma Meowth because there's no Alola in Meowth. Meow. And it doesn't look like that. And of course, Nintendo's habit of putting other game systems in in the um, room of the player. And then there's also the whole waking up as the first part of it. I think it's related to the hero's journey. It's the first thing you do in the hero's journey is you wake up. Oh, I actually have to move to wake up. And I can run without running shoes? It's great. Adventure rule number one. Open the X menu with the X button. Okay, um... I don't need to read adventure rules. Moving boxes. Um, Wii U. Pikachu. That's not a door. Okay. I got this now. Ooh. Like bag lunches. Or groceries. I don't know what they are. Level of detail is impressive. You were out like a light, weren't you? You gotta be full of energy by now. So, Music Kev, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course! Make some new friends. That's right, I wanna hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? But is that the doorbell? That's gotta be Professor Koop. Koop. Ah, oh, poop. Not a name. Professor Kukui. I think that's how it's pronounced. Why don't you let him in, Music Kev? Kukui. Yeah, that sounds right. And I will be definitely pronouncing Alolan. I didn't let you in. Like, you just come in, barging in. I'll be pronouncing Alola region wrong. Hey there, Music Kev. Name's Kukui. Good to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after that long trip all the way out here to Alola. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. Ah, Kanto is where I'm from. It's daytime out here, yeah? I forgot to change my internal clock, so it's gonna be, like, weird. Professor Kukui. Oh, Professor Kukui. Yeah, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mom. <laughs> really? <laughs> I know she doesn't have another given name, but really? <laughs> I just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, would you? Welcome to Alola. Of course, I still remember seeing you battle all those indigo gym leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know? I've been in love with Alola Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. Ha, huh, I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a two or thing or two about battling, but those Kanto gym leaders proved me wrong. So he researches moves? Hey, Music Kev, let's get move on to the next town over, cousin. Time for you to meet the island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon, yeah? I know what a Pokemon is. I'm more concerned about Kahu Kahuna. Sure, sure. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers here in Alola, cousin. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. And the Kahuna who lives in Iki Town, Iki, that's a fun town, is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon, yeah? They'll simply give my boy a Pokemon? Then those Kahunas are really worth meeting. Oh, I wonder if each Kahuna is going to give me a Pokemon. Hurry and get ready, Music Kev. Your bag has, and hat and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. And didn't you leave a copy of the adventure rules on your desk there, too? Yeah, I did. Ooh, I bet you got that style and hat that'll match mine, right? Yeah, I mean. Okay, so I need to find my hat. Yeah, I got my bag and my hat. Why couldn't I do that before? I like the blue. I do kind of like the outfit. The long hair doesn't really suit me, but maybe there'll be la later trainer customization that lets you change it. See, I think something's going on with the professor and the mother. You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Ooh, that's a styling hat, cousin. Why would... It's not like Meowth said anything. He just purred. You're, 
Oh boy. Your mom there. She's sure looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's get to I going to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon for the from the island of Kahuna. Oh yeah. So that you can go away and I can visit your mother while you're not there. Because that's obviously what's going on right now. Let's check the mailbox. Oh, it's my house. Oh, hi there, yeah. Now this is more like it, yeah? Welcome to Paradise, cousin. This is the Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together, too. After all, you can go anywhere, yeah? As long as you got Pokemon helping you out there. That's why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. First off, first we're off to Iki Town. Come on, it's not that far if we cut up here. Taking a shortcut with a stranger. Ooh, hi buddy. Hey you, you look like you're having a good time strolling around Lola. You make me want to dash around too, and I bet I can go even faster than you. Holding B will make me a B dasher. And it makes me look pretty dashing too. Okay. I don't think I'm going to talk to everybody. Ooh, this is Route 1. Okay. Power of science is amazing. Okay. Um, I think these guys are... Ooh, I can hear Pokemon. I think these guys are just going to give me information about how to play the game, so I don't really need that right now. Yo, so Music Cave, you're loving Alola already, yeah? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier I'll be. I'll be, excuse me. Oh yeah, look there. Looks like an excited Alolan's trainer has come to us. Mr. Kukui, can I recommend another move for me sometime, please? Okay, so he's a Pokemon researcher of moves. Why, you already know which moves you want to use, yeah? Come find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move, and then I'll battle you. I wonder if I can battle the the um, professor in this game. That'd be nice. That'd be uh, like a change of pace. Except for that mis mysterious... See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass here. Yeah, to try catch a wild Pokemon to add to your team. Because in the other one, there was like the rumor that you could fight Professor Oak, but that was never the case. But then trainers go up against one each other in, the po in battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, Jungus! How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in. Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other people, see? Now let's get moving. Iki Town is right over here. And stick around at the end of the episode, too, because um, Artistical is also chronologic... Or... Cr cr chronologging. Is that the word? And we're here. This is Iki Town. Her journey. But she's doing it by picture, so you'll be able to see what she's doing with her Nuzlocke challenge. This is the town where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches, watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Huh? What's going on here? We were supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? Hmm. Huh. Maybe they're all back on the Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are, yeah. Music Kev, do me a solid and go find the Island Kahuna. I'll wait around here to make sure we don't miss each other. The Island Kahuna? You can't miss him. He looks just like a Kahuna. Uh, uh, I'm not going to even comment on the stupidity of that. Okay, I'm guessing... I'll probably end up talking to some of these people off screen. But I don't want to have to read... Oh, I think this is him. No? Nope. Oh. Wait a minute, what? Opening a window lets night come creeping in. If you leave one open, it will make you sleepy. I wonder if that's like a reference to Drowsy? Because he would sneak in and use hypnosis and steal dreams. And there's probably a lot to be gained here. Okay, none of you are the Kahuna. I just need to find him. Uh, well, he did say he was up by the ruins, so maybe it's not even worth checking the houses at this moment. What? There's the girl from the intro. Really? You want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. What Pokemon does she have in there? Curious. Here's Mahalo Trail. It's just a straight trail. 
I have no idea what's going to be up here. Sorry, I had to wiggle my mouse because my screen went blank. This episode will be a longer one than usual. I'll probably stick to try to maybe like 15 minutes or maybe 20 minutes. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anybody sees you. Hmm. I'm curious as to what Pokemon that is. Oh, maybe... I think I know. It might be the Rotom that... Oh, no it's not. Hello. You're cute. Spiro attack! Aw. They're picking on him. And he's so cute and little, and he's like helpless. Ah! What's wrong? Well, I know what's wrong. Help! Save Nebby. Nebby. The spear are attacking it, but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. Do you have a Pokemon for me? Or am I... Oh. Hello. Is that just adding to the intensity, no matter how fast I move? Okay. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, I got rescued by a flying Pokemon. Oh, neat. Or did he not rescue me? He rescued Nebby, and I just happened to be hanging on. Bye. Thanks. I'm pretty sure that's Tapu Coco. Tapu Coco. Oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I knew you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. What? What is that? Huh? This is interesting. A sparkling stone? It feels warm somehow. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of the dangerous spot. Who are you? I think the stone must belong to you. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but okay. Huh. Sparkling stone. Please, don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It's, it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. So, I wonder what Nebby is. Like, one of the game's legendaries. I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you could see us back to town? Gladly. Are you going to be my other rival? Hey, Music Ev, looks like you missed the kahuna, yeah? You found my assistant, oh yeah. Oh. Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes, you can call me Lily. Now you... what? And Lily, this here is Music Ev. He just moved to Alola. Take good care of him. So you're, so you're one of the professor's acquaintances. Nice to meet you. Interesting. There's like a whole bunch of connection. Kahuna's back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. One of the strongest Pokemon users in all of Alolia. Yeah. Is the yeah thing like everybody's dialect?
Have I missed something? Nah, but where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there's a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Um, yes, uh, Kahuna Hala. Nemi was attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge, and the boy helped get in the way. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in and saved them. Ooh, that's something you don't hear every day. Huh. Though it's said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. Seems like I shouldn't trust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. He'll make a fine trainer out of him. Glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola, young Kui Kui. Ah, oh boy. Told me of you coming. I'm glad we had the chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon, let's have a look at you. There they are. You're so cute. <clears throat> I already determined. First is grass type Pokemon, Rollo. Cool. Next is the fire type Pokemon, Litten. And last is the water type Pokemon, Poplio. Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? I've already chosen. It's going to be the grass type, Rowlet. Will you choose the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet? Absolutely. Normally I would leave these things up to chance, but I've wanted this Pokemon since I met him on the uh, previews. Only when you've both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. Are we... Ooh. What do you think, buddy? So let's see if Lil Rowlet here also decides to choose you. Come here, buddy. You and your cute little bow tie. Rowlet has its gaze fixed on you. Is... Are you shaking your head no at me? Oh, there he is. I lifted Rowlet gently in my arms. That's what you're, like, ex being excited about? He looks tickled. So Rowlet has accepted you as well, Musikev. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. And, as per the Nuzlocke rules, I have to give Rowlet a nickname. I wanted to name him Keopa Goraba, but since I can neither pronounce that name nor spell it, he's just going to be KG. He's named after the um, Legend of Zelda owl that talks to you. So he's going to be KG. He's going to be my starter. Nice to meet you, Rowlet. Pew. I thought... When did you get out again? I know Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. That's it, Music Kev. Now that you're a real, po you've got a Pokemon. You're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah? Here's a lovely gift from me to help make it special, cousin. A Pokedex. How did I know? It's a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? And it can automatically record facts about any Pokemon you meet. Your new Pokemon Rowlet is already registered, so check it out. What's this? Trainer passport. Cool. Now go introduce your new friend to your mom, Music Kev. Okay, I am going to continue this episode until my first battle. Oh, boy. Which, I don't know how long it is, so... Oh, there's the person who I think is my rival. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Where's the fire, boy? What kind of Pokemon battle would that be if you don't even give a name first, eh? Oh, is that the Kahuna's son, maybe? Fair enough, then. I'm Hal, and my partner's Poplio. Your Rowlet looks really cool, too. Thanks? Yeah, so let's battle. I can't wait for you to find your way over to Iki Town, so I've been looking all over for you. Um, I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh yeah, your first battle already. Just have that Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins. I appreciate you be, uh, being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no-hordes-barred battle from the both of you. 
I have type advantage. You found me, right? I know you will, right? Yeah, and I won't lose. Alright, this is going to be great. It'd be sad if I fainted here because that would mean an automatic loss of the game. Since if I lose all my Pokemon, that's a game over. So there's a very real chance of getting a game over. Here's Poplio. Alright, KG, let's see what you got. Okay, we're going to start with Leaf Age. Ooh. And you're returning a water gun. We don't understand type advantages, do we? Hit him again. See, I think that was a special attack, so I don't think it's going to even matter. See ya, buddy. Got some nice stat boost there. Hoo-ah! See, 100 bucks for winning. Hooey, that gave me chicken skin. It's called Goosebumps. Music have, right? Your outlet was awesome. Now that sells it. I'm going all out tomorrow. Hmm, Music have? Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Could it be? Tutu, isn't that? You were rescued by Tapu, Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Music Kev? Yeah, it rescued me. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Music Kev. Perhaps you are meant to be. Let me to borrow this stone for now. If yet not, I will turn it to you tomorrow evening. It seems that you have had the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honor of joining our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe, though, today, Music Kev. Lily, you should come with us, too, yeah? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You were that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I will keep an eye on... That guy. Would you try not to escape the very moment you were told not to wander off? Alright, guys. I am going to call it here. We'll see what happens when I get back next episode. I'm Musikev, and this has been the Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke Challenge. See you then. Hello, YouTube. I'm not Musikev. It's me, Artistical, chiming in with my own Pokemon adventure. I'm also trying a Nuzlocke, my first Nuzlocke, in fact. It'll bring some excitement and stress to my journey, I'm sure, but I was already excited to see some mystery and plot in the game. Seriously, saving an unknown Pokemon or something? The Guardian Deity Pokemon swooping in to save me? But we'll get to that in due time, I'm sure. I'm playing as Becca, a girl from Kanto, yay Gen 1, who has just picked out her Pokemon, a Poplio, and I had the honor of being chosen right back. I named him Artie, isn't he cute? I have to admit, I usually favor the Water-type Pokemon as the cutest in each region. I don't know why it always ends up that way. The only exceptions were Cyndaquil in Soul Silver being my favorite, and in X and Y, though I never played that, I actually favor Chespin. He's so cute. In black and white, I actually wasn't a fan of any of the starters. Well, I'll catch up with you all later. Thanks for watching. Next time, I'll have more to report and draw. In the meantime, I'm grinding. This is a Nuzlocke, after all, and I refuse to lose my favorite starter.